as i mentioned earlier ragas are more or less common across the three genres of khayal drupad and instrumental music but tal is not so the very percussive instrument is different khayal and uh, instrumental music except for um, the rudra bean they use the tabla while uh, drupad uses the um pakhavaj um but you know there are some common features with regard to the uh, idea of tal and some uh, very common aspects of the of tal in these two uh, <coughs> genres so uh, the the basic idea underlying concept of tal as time uh, as a time span divided into units repeated cyclically and the first matra or the sum being the pivot around which the presentation revolves these are common to uh, both drupad khayal and and also instrumental music now other common uh, features are that each tala is associated with a theka a theka or a, which is which is a pattern of mnemonic syllables and each tala is also associated with a set of codified hand gestures so every tala then is essentially associated with um a theka or a set of strokes on the instrument with corresponding mnemonic syllables that name those strokes now both tabla and pakhavaj have two playing surfaces in the case of the tabla they are mounted on two separate drums whereas in the case of the pakhavaj they are two sides of a horizontally held double sided barrel now in both tab- tabla and pakhavaj some strokes are played on one surface or the other and some are a combination of strokes played on both and each syllable of the theka of every tal corresponds to a particular stroke of the left or the right or a combination of the two or in other words the theka is a pattern of specific strokes either on one or both surfaces it will get uh, clearer as we uh, demonstrate see there is a vocabulary a ba- basic building blocks and uh, that you know these these strokes are these strokes are the basic vocabulary of the tabla and uh, some of these strokes in the case of tabla ar tha dhi na tu etc na ta tun tit ge ke dha dhit now let us look at a 12 matra tal called ek tal whose bowl or whose theka is dhin dhin dha ge ti ra ki ta tu na ka ta dha ge ti ra ki ta dhi na this is the theka oh, let us watch the demonstration of ek tal and you can see that some strokes are played only on one surface of the tabla on one of the, either the right or the left of the uh, le- right or left drum of the tabla set and some are played on both the way i rendered the ek tal theka it was in madhyalaya but you can have a vilambit ek tal 
um, to be dhin, dhin, tha, ke, ti, ra, ki, da, tu, and so on. And also, we can have drut ektal. It can be dhin dhin dhagitraka tu na katta dhagitraka dhina dhin dhin dhagitraka tu na katta dhagitraka dhina. Let's watch the uh, demonstration of these thalas. There is a 12 matra tale in Dhrupad also, which is called Chartal or Chautal, which uh, has a theka dha dha dhinta kitta dha dhinta kitta katta gadi gana dha. Let's watch a demonstration of the Chartal. Again, you will see how the strokes on the uh, right and the left side of the Pakhavaj uh, uh, combine to create this theka. In the last video, we heard uh, the Tal Rupak of seven matras. Hmm? Let us listen to Rupak Tal performed. The the theka is tin tin na dhi na dhi na. Each thala is associated with a theka. It is also called bol uh, or a set of syllables that stand for these strokes. Further, uh, the theka or the bol is arranged in uh, guts. It is called gut uh, or vibhaga. There is basically you have to take uh, thin tal. It has 16 matras, but it is arranged in four parts or four vibhagas or four matras. So, so when written, it will, it will be like this. Dha, din, din, dha. That is the first vibhag. Then dha, din, din, dha. That is the second vibhag. Then dha, din, din, dha. That is the third one. And then you have ta, din, din, dha. That is the fourth vibhag. Each uh, the, the vibhagas are all equal in the case of tin tal or even ek tal for that matter. So it's called 
sama vibhag or sama gut these talas are called uh, those which have equal vibhagas now rupaka tal of uh, seven matras that we saw is divided into three unequal parts of 3 plus 2 plus 2 Now, uh, besides being associated with a theka, which is, you know, it's, it's both the set of strokes on the tabla or pakhavaj and also the bowl or the, the syllables, the pattern of syllables that uh, capture or name those strokes. Hmm? Um, so, besides uh, the a theka, each thala is also associated with a codified way of being performed on the thala. On the, on the hands, there be, they, they, there's a uh, pattern of gestures, hand gestures, which uh, uh, that is associated with each thal. And really, there are only basically only two hand movements. One is thali, that is the beating of the palm downwards, and then you have a khali, which is an outward movement of the palm. And these hand gestures occur at the beginning of each of the vibhagas. So let us look at the take of thin ta like in here. Da din din da da din din da da din din da da din din da. Now each vibhaga, uh, uh, the beginning, the first matra of each vibhaga is marked with a hand gesture which is either tali or khali. That is tali is this, khali is this. So, when we perform tin tal in uh, two hand gestures, it will be dha, din, din, dha, dha, din, din, dha, dha, tin, tin, dha, dha, din, din, dha. Actually, historically, uh, there is a, uh, a distinction between Sashabda Kriya and Nishabda Kriya in the context of hand gestures that uh, capture the Thala. Sashabda Kriya is with noise, with sound and Nishabda is without sound. So, Kriya is of course action. So, the hand gestures that are involved in, uh, uh, in uh, representing the Thala can either be can either be actions that make a sound or they, are, they can be actions that do not make a sound. So, the Thali is a Sashabda Kriya and the Khali is Nishabda Kriya because it does not make a sound. So, in the case of uh, Teen Thal, you have Thali or beating the hand down with a sound on the first, fifth and thirteenth matras and the Khali or opening the palm outwards, which is a nishabda kriya, is on the ninth matra. And the matras in between, they are quietly counted with the fingers. Um, so you have teen talas, dha, din, din, dha, dha, din, din, dha, dha, tin, tin, ta, ta, din, din, dha. And now, uh, and this is an important point. While there are hand gestures to indicate the tal, hand gestures are rarely, if ever, performed during the performance of a of khayal or instrumental music. Now, in contrast, Carnatic music or even in Drupad for that matter, uh, tal is performed by hand. So, this is something uh, I would like you to bear in mind and we will talk more about this in the next video. Uh, why it is this and what, what does it mean? Now, let us look at some other important talas that are used in khayal. We have already seen thin tal. We also saw ek tal, uh, rupak. Now, we have another uh, 16 matra thala called tilvada. It is also, as I said, 16 matras and divided into four parts. But the bowl, the theka is different. 
So much so that there are some musicians who say that Tilwada and Tintal are the same tal, only the theka is different. Tilwada is like this. Dha, tir, kit, dhin, dhin, na, na, tin, tin, ta, tir, kit, dhin, dhin, na, na, dhin, dhin. And then we have another uh, interesting tal called Jhumra of 14 matras. And the uh, theka is like this Dhin, Dha, Tir, Kit, Dhin, Dhin, Dha, Ke, Tir, Kit, Tin, Ta, Tir, Kit, Dhin, Dhin, Dha, Ke, Tir, Kit, Dhin. We also have uh, a 10 matra cycle, 10 matra tal called chaptal and the theka is like this dhi na dhi dhi na ti na dhi dhi na. If I were to perform the hand gestures dhi na dhi dhi na ti na dhi the na. So, um, it can be an interesting exercise for you to just uh, think about which of these talas uh, has sama vibhag and which has vishama vibhag. That is, which are uh, the talas that are divided into equal, num equal parts, that is, each part has an equal number of matras, and which are the talas of which the uh, parts do are unequal. And they say Rupa Kesa Vishamatal, that is you have Tin, Tin, Na, Dhi, Na, Dhi, Na. So you have 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 1, 2. So it has 3 parts and they are unequal. So which are the Thalas in this uh, are like Rupa, no? Vishama Vibhag. So um, to sum up then, just as we describe uh, ragas in terms of certain parameters, tala also is described in terms of some parameters. First, of course, you have the number of matras per avartam. Then we, we mention the vibhagas. That is, the matras are uh, divided into sections or parts and these may be equal or unequal. The ka tali and kali are also important uh, part of the description of the tala. So, when we have to describe teen tal, it would go something like this. The teen tal has 16 matras divided into 4 vibhagas or parts of 4 matras each with a tali 
on the 1st, 5th and 13th matras and khali on the 9th matra. And the theka is an integral part of the description of the thala. There are musicians and musicologists who equate thala with the theka. So from all this, it emerges that in a thala, not all matras are equal. The sum is by far the most important, followed by the matras that are marked in thalis and khalis. That is important in what sense? In terms of how they figure in the presentation of the music, in the dynamics, the building of tension and release of the music, the construction of the composition and so on. We will look in the next video at tabla as an accompaniment for khayal and instrumental music and how it is different from uh, say the Bakhavaj or the Mridangam of Carnatic music.